We are live, baby. Let's go. Let's. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy JL, the genius. I got another fire interview for you guys, and you're not gonna want to miss this one. So the person I'm bringing up, he's a cash flow king. That's why I like to call him, and he's about to help you get some cash flow into your business through real estate. So you know what it is? It's legacy talk. So let's go. Brother Sam, brother Sam, how you feeling? Many blessings, JL. Many blessings. Great to be here. Thank you for the invitation. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good. That's phenomenal. Yes, it's great to have you here, my brother. I finally got you on the podcast, the official podcast. The last time we met, man, you were dropping so many gems that it was crazy. Like I got like three pages of notes from what you were oh, talking wow. about. So this is Legacy Talk. So I want you to kind of introduce yourself, let everybody know who you are and what you do. Awesome. Awesome. Well, first and foremost, JL, thank you for the invitation to speak to the US, the UK, you know, the whole world right here. So mm -hmm. Legacy Talk is something that I'm looking forward to really just vibing and sharing with you on. Um, my name is Samuel I Can Win. I'm known as Samuel I Can Win, but I'm Samuel I Kim Win. I'm a cash flow creator. I teach people how to creatively create cash flow using property or in the US, we say real estate using real estate and property assets. Now, most people are trying to replace their income in many of the countries that I come across people. And some people aren't even just trying to replace their income. When we get to certain ages, certain people are trying to build up a legacy or those people are just trying to have a subsidized pension. And what we find is that many people who, who want to use real estate, many times they do the wrong thing. So I just try to help people steer in the right direction by showing them, no, 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 you got to do it like this. And when they see what I'm talking about, they're like, oh my gosh, this guy's got the trick. So, you know, I'm a cash flow creator and it's all about helping people make colossal cash flow for their future. Cash flow, you said colossal cash flow, colossal cash flow. Man, that's right. a mouthful. That's that's phenomenal. So as you know, my brother, this is legacy talk. And, and we we all about legacy. I know you about legacy. I know you you about your business. So 100. tell the people what does a legacy mean to you? That is awesome. That's awesome. You know, it's interesting, JL, when you ask that question, because I was raised, you know, by a mom and dad who came from Africa. They came from Nigeria to the UK. Um, I was raised in East London. And it's interesting because they'd always tell us, you know, go to school, get a degree, go to school, get a degree. I ended up going to school not once, not twice, not three, but four times studying four degrees. And for me, when I was going to university, I was thinking to myself, maybe this is the legacy they're talking about. Maybe they're saying education is the key. And I remember um, I was 19 years old um, and I was listening to an audio program by Jim Rohn. And he said, there's three things you should leave your children. There's only three things that you should think about leaving your children. He said, the first is your journals. He goes, because when you leave your children, your journals, you let them know how you were thinking. He said, the second mm -hmm. is your library. He said, because when you leave your children, your library, you get children ready to know what you are feeding your mind with. OK, and that, that word feeding is important in terms of where we're going with this. And then the last thing he said is you should leave your pictures. Now, obviously, most people who know Jim Rohn, he was around in the 80s and the 90s in a big way as a personal development teacher. So he said your pictures. But today we got TikTok. We got Instagram. We got we got so much stuff now to leave our children. So when I answer that question for myself, what do I mean by legacy? I'm talking about how do you leave the system, the sequence, OK, and the solutions that you found in your life in order to help your next generation and the generation after that to still succeed. So it's not just about the systems, it's about the systems, the sequences, and the solutions that you've discovered in this day and age that you can leave. Because the Bible says a good man leaves an inheritance, not just for his children, but it's for his children's children. So what are the systems? What are the sequences? What are the solutions you found in your 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, 80 years, 20 years, 10 years, that you can leave for the next generation and the generation after that are still gonna work as well to keep them successful? wow so you just that was a whole that was a whole lot so it sounds like from what you're saying is that the the from what from you studying jim Rohn, he said leave these three things to your children the journals the libraries and the pictures and now you know you mentioned about like we got tiktok instagram and all that stuff now but you said a system the sequence and the solutions that's right from what from what you learned in your journey that, that's phenomenal talk the about next like, generation successful talk about that bro talk about that real quick bro that's phenomenal 
that's uh, okay. Let's let's dig, dig into it. So, you see, what you should understand, what we should all understand as adults in this world, is that systems is what everything runs off of. Everything runs off of a system. And if you want success, which is the result, which is what I believe we want our next generation to have, you need to have the system down to a T. So, for example, like in the UK, I teach people how to find great property deals. Okay. And I can't just teach that from ideas. I can't just teach that from experience. I need to teach it from a system. Why? Because if I teach from a system, I do not create dependency. Now, what we have in our current world, we have so many people who are dependent on their coach or on their trainer or on their teacher or on their academic degrees and or on their J-O-Bs. Let's even bring that in. You know, I haven't worked a job for about four years, so I forget about that. But the reality is the majority of human beings are dependent on something. And the reason they're so dependent on that thing is because they have never been given a system from that thing. The next mm. thing is the sequence. So when you start implementing a particular system, let's say you implement the system of how to find great property deals. Now you can find great property deals, but that doesn't mean you can necessarily monetize from those property deals. So the next sequence is how do you create colossal cash flow from those property deals? For example, in our like it's easiest for me, JL, to speak from my business because that's how I think, you know? So that's mm -hmm. why I'm using the property examples, the real estate examples. So it's about the sequence after it's about the system. So I have the system. Okay, I know how to find great property deals. I'm not dependent on anyone else. But now what comes after that? Well, what comes after that is how to, you know, catapult the cash flow. So now I can catapult the cash flow. The next thing is, well, I need to leave a legacy. So how do I leave a legacy? So there's going to be a play on each part. So that's the sequence, you know? So when you've got the system and you've got the sequence, the next thing you have to have is the solution. And the solution is the byproduct. The solution is what people look at and say, hold on a minute, J.O., you winning. Like the way you built that funnel or J.O., you winning. The way you, you left this for your children. Like the solution allows people to see exactly what you were doing in the first place. You know, let me even share this. Hopefully this is a little power bomb for the listeners and the viewers. You know, I remember being told a long time ago, um, you know, that you got to work hard. You got to work hard. That was the mantra. You got to work hard. You got to work hard. Sometimes I used to hear you got to work 10 times harder than someone else. Okay. And I know if you, if you understand what I'm talking about, you know, what I'm talking about, <laughs> but the thing that was interesting about that is when I started coaching people on the systems and the sequences, I started realizing that the solution comes at the end. And this is why people were saying stuff like you got to work 10 times harder because they misinterpreted the, th the fact that if you actually empl employ the system and you start to institute the actual sequence, the solution has to come. It has to show up. It doesn't have a choice. You've, you've put the solution in a chokehold. But what happens for most people is because they're so used to not having a system and not knowing the, the finite or the right order for the sequence, they're not used to seeing the solution. So they oh, think so, you got. Oh, let me hard. stop you. Let me. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go my fault, my fault, brother. I don't want to stop you. But, uh, but you, you dropping bomb. You, you, you dropping bombs. So I, I want to make sure that people are catching this all right. because this is this is cru this is crucial information, right? Let's so you, you're talking about. You said the systems allow for people not to be dependent, right? It does not right. create dependency, right? So you, when you have that system in place, that, that's like planting the seed, right? That's planting the seed. And the solution is 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 water in the seed. I mean, the sequence is water in that seed to get the fruitful solution, right? right. So, what, what you're talking about right now is is intriguing. It's blowing my mind because all of these things you would think if you didn't know the difference by how you just broke it down, you would think they were the same thing. You yeah, would think, I, okay, well, the system is my solution and this is my sequence. But how you're breaking it down is crazy so so keep going brother i didn't mean to cut you off keep going no no jail you got it man you got it and what i love about what you just did is you brought in another analogy to help it all, all sink in smoothly and that's correct you know your system is you can think of the system as the seed and then you can think of the sequence as the process you have to use to make that seed become a tree and the solution is the tree you know so you can't like check this out this is what some people are doing some people are pouring water all on the ground you might have some good ground but they're just pouring water on the ground every day but there's no seed in the ground so you ain't gonna get no tree you can't like <laughs> how, how can you get a tree pouring water on the ground without a seed it doesn't work that way that's not the right sequence so in order to understand the sequence that's how you understand okay the seed goes in first then we gotta nourish the seed we gotta 
water the seed, we need the seed to eat, and we need the seed to also be moist, mo moisturized. But another part of the sequence, we need the seed to die. Because that's part of what has to happen, right? 